I heard David say in Psalm 24 3 he say who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place verse 4 says he that have clean hands and a pure heart you can't touch God the way you want to you can't handle God the way you want to but no you got to touch him you got to handle the king the way you say to handle the king because the Lord have gave us instructions and the Bible says in 2 Samuel 6 13 it said when they were born the ark the Bible said every six steps it took a step that's one it took another step two took another step three took another step four took another step five took another step six and the Bible said that every six steps they begin to sacrifice to the Lord now, no, I don't know if they did this literally, but I do know it was a 10 mile journey, so it took them a little bit longer. And what they begin to do is they begin to sacrifice the thing that they use. Y'all are gonna help me preaching here when they went to get the ark the first time, they put the ark on the ox, but now when he went the second time, he put the ark on the shoulders of the men of God, and now they sacrifice sacrificing what they thought they needed before now they sacrificing we don't need we don't need no ox we don't need to help the Lord is there anybody here that said you thought you needed a man you thought you needed a woman you thought you needed that money you thought you needed that job but now you're saying I will bring a sacrifice of praise unto the Lord and I tell you that that's a difference between a praise Praiser and a worshiper, a praiser. I praise you for the job. I praise you for the car. I praise you for my marriage. But a worshiper, if I never get married, if I never get healed, if I never get the house, if I never get a job, I'll still give you glory. I heard. I heard Job say, though he slay me, yet will I trust in you. Is there anybody here that'll say, Lord, I'll trust you even when I can't trace you. Lord, I'll give you glory even when I don't understand. I'll be able to get my head up. Somebody say, get your head up. Get your head up. You got too much purpose. Get your head up. I got too much for you to do. Get your head up. I heard. I'm getting ready to let y'all go. I'm way over my time. But somebody else say, preach, Pastor Kobe. Can I tell you that David got to a place where now he was unrestrained in his worship. Look what verse 14 say. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. David went holding back. He said, now it's unrestrained. I've turned the corner now. Now I'm going to give God glory. I got the glory back. I got my joy back. I got my peace back. There's nothing holding me. See, you thought in 1 Samuel 30, he got it all back. No, he got his house back. He got his wives back. He got his children back. But now, he got the glory. I got it all now. I got the weight. I got the presence. I got everything I need. And I heard. I said, I heard. I'm going to leave y'all alone. He said, lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king, the king of glory, shall come in. I heard David. I can see him in my mind. Going back to Jerusalem. They said, we got the king. Open up the gates. We got the king back. Throw that down the drawbridge. The king is back. And the gate talk back to the king. And say, who is the king of glory? And David talked back to him. And said, the Lord, he's strong and mighty. He's mighty in battle. Is there anybody that knows he's a battle axe? In the time of a battle, is there anybody know? I heard. 
I heard my grandma say, he's a doctor in a sick room. He's a lawyer in the courtroom. Jesus, you ought to call his name. Jesus, Mary's baby. Jesus, God's son. Jesus, the lily in every valley. The bride and the morning star. He is the king of glory. He's coming to your mind. The king is coming. Coming to your home. The king is coming. Coming to your body. The king, the king. The king, the king. Say, Lord, take me to the king. Lord, I need your power. Lord, I need your anointing. You ought to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta stop. I don't want to, but I got to. But the king is coming. I said the king is coming. The king is coming your way. You ought to open up your heart and let the king come. Open up your mind and let the king come. It's the last thing I'm gonna tell you. I heard, I heard that Saul's daughter saw David dancing and she was mad and said, King shouldn't act like that. David said, you don't know what the Lord did for me. Don't you judge my praise. Don't you judge my book. Don't you judge my Shabbat. Don't you judge my Hallel. Don't you judge my Toda. Don't you judge. We see tears coming down my face. You don't know how the Lord rock me. You don't know how the Lord heal me. You don't know how you say me. I got to praise and I got to get it out right there in your house. You ought to stand on your feet. You ought to put your hands together and give God some praise. Give some glory and give him some honor. Come on, you ought to pick them up and put them down. On behalf of everyone here at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for being a part of our online worship experience. Thank you for your participation through your likes, your shares, and your comments. But we also want you to participate when it comes down to helping us continue to push this gospel message forward. You can do so by downloading our app, and you can give there in a safe and secure way. You can go to our website at truthandlove.tv, and you can give. Or you can text the word T-I-L Jacks to the number 77977. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. See you next time.